Yo, what's happening people? Godspeed here, back for a tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build an Argentina snail mating greenhouse pen. In the next few weeks, the next patch is gonna be making rock drakes and snails breedable. So let's get ahead of the game and get ourselves a little snail pen. I'm here today on Vallegro in the Rebels area. To make this build, we need to start off with a circle. Take six triangle stone foundations and place them in a hexagon pattern. Next, take a square ceiling, place it down like this, a triangle ceiling, and using this snap point, place them down all the way around. Then pick up the square ceiling. Next, take your fence foundations and place them in the gaps, in the little creases there, now every time I do a video, these don't go down first time. Every time I do do a video, I don't do a video, they go down first time. Because these builds that I build, I, I usually build them first to make sure that they're functional and they look good, and then I make a video. So every time I'm not recording, these go down first time, and every time I record, they don't go down fucking first time, and it's so frustrating. It's very important that these are straight. If they are not straight, pick them up and try again. Also guys, I've got loads of tutorials ready in the bank for, this, uh, for the next, next upcoming weeks. Got some Halloween theme builds, some medieval builds, some uh, tip tutorial builds. I've got uh, some platform based builds, uh, loads of cool content coming. So if you're not a subscriber, please consider being one and smashing that like button below. So once you have all your fence foundations down, slap a pillar to the end of each fence foundation. This is a very simple build today guys, usually my builds are a bit more crazy than this. But this should be easy to replicate, very functional, looks cool too. Next take your stone uh, square foundations, oh they're in my hotbar, and snap them to the pillar snap points creating a circle. place one at the front to signal where your door is going to be. In fact let's make it let's make it too wide. So snap some more stone foundations onto the end of each of the ones you just placed down and we'll make it a bit of a bigger circle. There we go. Place one up front to, to signify where your door is going to be. Take a fence foundation, place it down. Level with your door foundation, the area where your door is going to be. Place one, place one down either side of the fence foundation. Take your greenhouse walls and on every single snap point, place them around the inner circle. Do this again. Two more pillars. Next place a fence foundation at your door point, followed by two pillars either side. Take your double door greenhouse frame and place it inside the pillars. So the snap point in the pillars, along with two greenhouse doors. Take your greenhouse walls, place them too high all around the outer circle. Yeah, 
In fact, let's go free high. Take your greenhouse ceilings, place them around the outer circle. That one didn't go down right. And I know why, it's because this double door frame isn't slapped to the right snap point. So let me just go ahead and remove this pillar so I can see what I'm dealing with. Yeah, we want it there. I'll replace this pillar and I'll replace these doors. That's what we wanted. Continue to place the ceilings all the way around. Circle builds can be quite repetitive. Take your greenhouse walls, place them on every snap point on the edge of each ceiling, all the way around. Take your greenhouse ceiling and snap them to each wall, all the way around. Take a greenhouse wall and snap them to the each end, the end of each greenhouse ceiling all the way around. You'll notice the the more you come into the middle, the more snap points that you have. Make sure that you're hitting every snap point because circular builds are very unforgiving. If you miss one, it will stick out. Next, add some more ceilings all the way around. I'm just going to mash this. I'm just going to completely mash this all the way around. I think I've hit them all. Let's just wait for this uh, greenhouse debris to clear. You can tell by the pattern if you hit them all. Greenhouse makes a really nice pattern when it's built in a circular motion. Take some greenhouse walls and hit them on every snap point. And now there's even, even more snap points now. Look, this is this is a lot of snap points on this top bit. So make sure that you're hitting every single one. Like I said, you'll know if you miss one by the pattern, the pattern won't look right from above. So there we go, well, there we go. Let's find the front of our build. Where is it? Here it is. Take your stone foundation, place one on the left and one at the top. Place a wooden staircase on the left, a fence foundation on the left, and a stone pillar either side, and a stone pillar on the other corner also. Take your railings, place them too high at the front and the right of the staircase. So I'm going to skip ahead now and show you how I've decorated mine. I painted mine purple, yellow and purple and yellow. I've capped off the top and added a tech light in there. I put things in here which well, all to do with snails. So like a chem bench for your, your, your snail paste, your achatila paste, cryopods for your babies, refrigerators for obviously like your honey and your uh, sav root and stuff like that. Uh, bins for your fertilizer. Up top I've added some savory because it's one of the preferred foods apart from sweet veggie cake of the Achatina. And here we have the Achatina with a deadly storage with some cementing paste in there. Everything that you could possibly need when raising snails. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Laters!